Hello everyone. Welcome once again to another fun session of Fun Learn Explore. Today, we are going to be learning on how to skip count by 10. You ready? Let's get started. But first, let's recap. What is skip counting? Skip counting means we don't count one by one. We skip some numbers and jump ahead. Today, we'll skip count by tens. That means we'll count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and last but not least, 100. That was great! Now, let's practice again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Let's take an example. For example, we have 10 10 cent coins. Let's count each one and see how much the value is at the end. You ready? 10 cents is one coin. 10 plus 10 equals two coins. What's 10 plus 10? Yes, it's 20. Three coins, 30 cents. Four coins, 40 cents. Five coins, 50 cents. Six coins, 60 cents. Seven coins, 70 cents. Eight coins, 80 cents. Nine coins, 90 cents. And last but not least, there are 10 coins, and that equals a dollar or 100 cents. Here's a hint, hint. We're not learning about money yet, but to get you started, 100 cents is a dollar. Let's practice again. Practice makes perfect. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and last but not least, 100. Well done. You guys are doing great so far. Now, here it comes. The challenge. Yeah? Okay, let's count these crayons. Each crayon comes in a pack of 10. So, if there are 5 packs of crayons, how many crayons are there all together? Let's see. 1 pack, 10. 2 packs, 20. 3 packs, 30. 4 packs, 40. And last but not least, 5 packs and there are 50 crayons all together. Nice! Now let's count these toy cars. There are six groups of ten toy cars. So let's figure out how many cars there are. In one group, there's ten. Two groups, there's twenty. Three groups, thirty. Four groups, forty. Five groups, fifty. And six groups are sixty. All together, sixty cars. Let's move on. Apples. <sighs> Apples are so tasty. Oh, anyways. In one group, there's 10. Two groups, there's 20. Three groups, 30. How many are there? Shout it out for me! Great! So there are 30 apples. I'm excited that you guys are really learning and excelling in this topic. I'm loving it. Next up, let's count these corns. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80. Altogether, 80 corns. That's a lot of corns, huh? Yeah. As you can see, in one group, there's 10. And altogether, there are 8 groups of 10. You can either do 10 times 8, or you can skip count by 10s and stop at the 8th number. Mm. Now, let's count these stars. 10, 20, 30, 40. Four groups of ten. Way to go. Amazing job, everyone. You guys are really nailing this. Just a quick little snippet. If you haven't, please like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get back on track. Now, it is, drum roll please, 
quiz time! So, we are going to be practicing this topic with some questions. Five questions are going to make your mind moving. Shall we get started? Let's go. Question number one. What comes after the sequence? 10, 20, 30, 40. If you guys said 50, great job. In the grid, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yes, awesome job. Question number two. Skip count by 10, starting from 50. Write the next four numbers. If you're stuck, always refer to the grid. It's always by your side. But I'm sure you guys have got the hang of the skip counting thing anyway. The next four numbers are 60, 70, 80, and 90. Question number three. What comes before and after 70 and before and after 90? So, you guys are going to have to fill in the blanks. You ready? You can always refer to that grid. It's right by your side. Yes, those blanks are 60, 80, and 100. Awesome job, guys. As you can see in the grid, 60, then it's 70, then it's 80, then it's 90, and then, dun da da 100. So, those blanks are 60, 80, and 100. Question number four. If you skip count by 10, starting at 10, what is the eighth number? Hmm... You can always refer to that grid. So, let's start from 10. 10, first number. 20, second number. 30, third number. I'm sure you guys have got the hang of it. What is the eighth number? Yes, the eighth number is 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Awesome job. Question 5. You have 10 candies in each bag. Got it? How many candies are there in six bags? Hmm. So, what this means is there are six groups of 10 because there are six bags and in each bag there's 10. Six groups of 10. Can I get the hang of it now? Great. So, you can either do 10 times 6. Or you can skip count by tens until you reach the sixth number. Got it? Ten, first number, twenty, second, thirty, third number, forty, fourth number, fifty, fifth number, and sixty is the sixth number because there are six bags. We can stop it there. So, how many candies are there in six bags? Yes, the answer is sixty. Amazing job, guys. You guys are skip counting heroes. Remember, keep on practicing. You guys are doing awesome. Also, this can be very, very helpful in multiplication and division. You got that? Let's practice this one more time before we say our goodbyes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. Amazing job, guys. I hope you said it along with me. Anyways, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Fun Learn Explore. Thank you and have a great day.